really from the first minute I walked through the door, I knew that this is the place for my daughter. And ever since, I've been thanking the day I made that decision. One of the things that makes our school unique is that we blend the Montessori philosophy with uh, Judaic values and, and Judaic principles. What we believe in is in opening minds and hearts, and we do that. We open the children's minds and hearts to each other, to their faith, to their tradition, and to the world. Montessori has this special kind of energy that makes it different from other schools. The kids feel at home here. It is their second home. It's really their place, and the learning is their learning. Montessori education is user-friendly education for children. It speaks to them in the way that they learn and in the way that they experience the world. Um, so I went through Montessori from the age of two and a half until the end of grade six. And from my perspective, it provided me with a really strong foundation in my confidence in learning, my ability to learn, and how to figure things out by myself. And one of the things that's really important to me as a Montessori mom now is to see how Montessori helps each child learn what they're ready to learn when they're ready to learn it. I think one of the things that was really impressive to us uh, about the Montessori system is the investment into uh, letting the child learn on their own terms. Uh, discover things and follow their passions while still being able to get a well-rounded education. Because they're always asked to engage and asked to give their ideas and their thoughts, you know, you're not just delivering what somebody has requested of you, you're, you're actually seeing what needs to be done and off you go and you're doing it and you have the confidence to do it. It's a, it's a very integrated approach in all of our classrooms. We have. Uh, Montessori trained educator as well as uh, a Jewish studies uh, teacher and I can connect any part of the curriculum to uh, the Jewish perspective or the Jewish uh, connection to uh, the calendar or uh, what was happening in Israel during this same time in ancient history so it's really uh, a, a lot of freedom just to pull all the threads together. I feel that it is important to be able to give back to your community. I did Sydney Hacker Fund for my bat mitzvah, so that was a fund, a charity organization that was for kids at Montessori that could not afford to come to the school. I wanted people to be able to feel that you know they could be here and be happy. I think that my education at Montessori was really, really vital for me to be able to be successful. If I didn't go here, I don't think I would have been able to excel as much as I have been able to. Whereas traditional schools have children sitting at desks listening to a teacher, we continue to have the children interacting with each other. We know that their social sense is very strong, so instead of having them compete with each other, we give them reasons to work with each other. There is always a three-year age mix in every class, and one of the great advantages of this is a child has an experience of being the youngest, the newest, the, the person who doesn't know what's going on, and after three years, they're the leader and they help those younger children. So that constant going from following to leading is a really important part of the dynamic and actually I think really prepares kids for later in life uh, in different work contexts where we play both roles of leaders and followers and teammates all the time. Uh, the way the classroom is structured in the small group lessons that are happening, um, a curious student might be watching or listening to a lesson that's for uh, mostly for third years and you can tell as the, the teacher in that classroom the students really paying attention, they have an interest in this, and it gives us the opportunity to either pull them in or take note of that and really um, help them uh, seek, seek that interest as well. Our teachers are very gifted in being able to inspire in the child that love of math, that love of language, that love of science, that history, geography, botany, and by so doing, the children want to do the best they can. So they achieve extremely high standards of academic excellence. We do that through giving them the hands-on materials, which give them a deep understanding and a certainty. I know what I'm doing. Um, when you teach a child how to do fractions with pieces that they can manipulate, they want to go on to the next thing. And it is so common in our school for children to tell teachers, can I learn that too? When can I do that? They're always willing and wanting to progress in every aspect of the curriculum. It is my responsibility and our accountability to make sure that we've covered the subjects, but our children way exceed those standards. And they do that out of their own self-motivation. And therefore, there is no limit. Other schools place a limit. They teach curriculum. We teach children. And we teach children that their intelligence and their potential is limitless.